Greetings all fellow developers of testing frameworks, IDEs and build tools on the Java platform. I am happy to announce the first release of Yumi, a new test runner for the JVM. This release is targeted at the developers of testing frameworks and other tools for them to start implementing support for Yumi. But first let me tell you why it was necessary to create a new test runner. Here you can see a JUnit test and uh, it runs with the JUnit test runner which in the general case is identified with this run with annotation. And this has been the de facto test runner for who knows how many years. And uh, it has been very successful in supporting nearly every testing framework, but there are a bunch of limitations. Here is one such limitation, which can be felt by any uh, any developers who run tests. When I run this JUnit test, it uh, here, well here I see that it printed something. That this test should print that one, and here we have another test which prints those. And uh, in this ID which I'm using, I find it very useful to see that okay, what was the output from some test but it's uh, unfortunately quite inaccurate. Let me run this a couple of times to demonstrate it, okay? Now none of those showed anything. Okay, let me run this a couple of times until I find a suitable example. Okay, here you can see that when I select test 4 from the results, I can see what that test printed. And it's shown here correctly, but for the other tests, I'm not seeing it. This is because the uh, chain test runner does not support the IDE in showing accurately that what a test prints. And uh, due to that, uh, the IDE needs to just monitor the standard output of the uh, test run the process and that's not exactly too accurate when we are dealing with sub millisecond tests. But now let's have a look at what the same tests would look like in uh, Yumi. Here is a test implemented with y Yumi. It's identified th with this annotation which uh, tells that which uh, driver will be used to operate this particular testing framework. Which is, this is similar to the runner interface in the JUnit APIs. And uh, let's run this test. For now we don't have ID integration, which I'm hoping one of you will create, so I have a bootstrap class. And, uh, uh, simple text user interface. Here you can see exactly that test two, test 2 printed this and what all the other tests printed right inside that particular test method. And also this case we are outputting to standard output and error and uh, it happens right in the order that those calls are made whereas with JUnit where we have the same test those happen in more or less random order And as you can see, even even the other tests can can be shown there in between. There is no happens before relationship between them. And uh, Yumi achieves this for, for all you tool vendor developers. If when you build an ID, you will get accurate events of when each of these happens, like. They are the 
they are the events each of each of these produced the event to standard output or error when it prints the same way as there are events from when a test is started and finished. Another benefit of the Yumi test runner is that it supports running tests in parallel natively. Like here we have one test class, each test prints something when it starts and ends for us to see that better and then in between it delays for two seconds. And we have 10 of these tests. Now when I run this, Yumi uh, runs those tests using uh, four threads and uh, as you could see there, first the first four came and then step by step the others finished. And uh, what I mean by native support for running tests in parallel, when the first four tests are started in parallel, they all print these lines and then uh, sleep and then print the finished lines and so they should happen in a parallel but here in the results we don't see those outputs intermixed we see only what this particular test printed and it's uh, uh, not interfered by what other tests print and eventually each print operation will probably also come with knowledge of which thread and at what time it was printed. Still one major reason for creating Yumi was that for some testing frameworks the JUnit test runner is not a good fit due to some of the assumptions that the JUnit test runner has because of it having been originally created for the JUnit testing framework. Here is one example of such a issue. We have in this testing framework Spexy for the Scala language, similar, quite similar to the Spex framework. We can have as many tests inside each other as we want and if you know Scala syntax you will know that this code block is in the constructor, normal imperative code, and this thing here is a method call which passes in a closure, and when that closure is executed, we do this method call, which passes in that closure as a parameter, and then this method call for this parameter. And uh, this is the thing that, well, first of all, nesting, and secondly, we do not know what tests they are before the tests are executed. And uh, both of these are something that the Yumi test runner supports natively. And here is an example of what the output from this uh, particular test class would look like. And uh, here we also see that like in what order the tests are executed and uh, because this testing framework has a particular execution model. It creates a new instance of stack spec, executes this test and this test, and then finishes. So, create, execute this, this, and this, and then finishes. Then executes this, this, and this, finishes. And specifically, runs this, then these, then these, and does not run these, which would otherwise mutate the same data. And the uh, output from uh, that can be received from the Yumi test runner makes it more clear that what is the execution model of this particular testing framework. Here is an example that what it could be like if somebody implemented a driver to run the Cucumber acceptance testing framework on the Yumi test runner. In Cucumber we have these things called features described in text files and we have scenarios which have multiple steps. Each of these scenarios can be thought to be a test. And uh, 
Heaven we run it. We could have the outermost test called feedless feature addition. Then we that contains a scenario, and then that contains each of each of these three or four steps. And uh, then we have these other other scenarios with slightly different parameters, and it's those will be run in isolation in parallel. A testing framework like this would be very bad fit for the the unit test runner, and usually they have been implementing their own test runners for them to be able to show all of this relevant information. But you can express all this so that the testing framework developers can focus just on writing their testing framework. They don't need to write their own test runner also, but they can use Yumi and benefit from the common tool support. If you are developing a testing framework build tool or IDE, I encourage you to check out the source code from Yumi and look at the examples that it has. As an example of how to integrate a testing framework with Yumi, Yumi comes with a, this simple unit testing framework, just a single class, which shows how to call the APIs in the Yumi framework. So, reading the source code of this class and its unit tests is useful for understanding Yumi better. And IDE and build tool developers can from these unit tests also understand that what kind of events come from the Yumi test runner when it runs some test classes. Please come to the Yumi website and subscribe to our mailing list to learn more about Yumi and to ask questions that how to integrate your systems, your testing frameworks and IDs, build tools and whatever to work with Yumi.